Number 8. The Shark-Infested Waters of Reunion Island off the coast of Madagascar, in the glittering turquoise waters surrounding Reunion Island, at least 27 people have been massacred by vicious sharks. Though the island has been inhabited since the 1600s, it was not until 1913 that people realized just how many cold-blooded killers awaited them in the deep. On January 1, 1913, a man was tempted by the gorgeous ocean and decided to go for a swim was immediately attacked by a shark and barely made it out alive. Hours later, another man dropped his hat into the sea. Not wanting to lose his prized possession, he dived in to retrieve it, only for a shark to come along and chop him to pieces. This was the start of a century-long struggle between the residents and visitors of Reunion Island and the unusually violent shark surrounding it. What's particularly unique about these attacks is that they are carried out by so many different species of sharks. Seventeen attacks were committed by great whites, arguably the most fearsome sharks of all, but there have also been multiple attacks by bull sharks, tiger sharks, mako sharks and even the relatively non-threatening lemon shark. Despite the dangers, brave swimmers continue to try to test the mettle of these merciless killers. On February 15, 2015, 20-year-old Talon Bishop was enjoying a swim with 12 of her friends when she suddenly felt the agonizing pain of a tiger shark clamping down on her leg with 1,400 pounds of force. Though her friends were able to drag her back to shore, her wounds were too severe and she died the very next day. Even as recently as 2019, 28-year-old Kim Mabuli was killed instantly in an attack by an unknown shark. She was reportedly surfing in a restricted area and she ignored repeated warnings that shark attacks were on the rise. She was the only member of her group not wearing shark-repelling gear and her grave mistake led to her suffering an unimaginable death. Number 7. Grinyard, the Anthrax Island in 1942, during the height of the Second World War, the British government conducted disastrous biological weapons experiments on the tiny island of Grignard. Located just off the coast of the Scottish Highlands, the unassuming isle was turned into a sacrifice zone. The British government wanted to test the deadly effects of anthrax, and Grignard's remote location made it the perfect spot. Anthrax, a type of bacteria that can cause bloody vomiting and diarrhea, as well as gaping lesions in the flesh, was seen as a powerful tool in the English war effort. In the experiment, around 80 sheep were infected, and though their carcasses were burned immediately after, British authorities had no idea how quickly the anthrax would spread across the island. Three years after the experiment, the island's owners demanded its return, but the British government refused. Despite their best efforts at decontamination, the anthrax spores proved too resilient, even making their way into the soil. Over the next few decades, authorities took great steps to prevent anyone from reaching the island. If even one person landed on its shores, they could bring back the anthrax plague that would have decimated the British Isles in weeks, if not days. British authorities claimed that the island was finally cleared of anthrax in 1990, prompting some people to return, but traces of anthrax can still be found in the soil. On March 26, 2022, a massive wildfire broke out and burned Grignard to the ground, and later investigations revealed that a local worker started the fire. Though the motive was never established, prolonged anthrax exposure is known to cause hallucinations, disorientation, and an overall irrational state of mind. It's possible that trace amounts of anthrax poisoned the worker's mind over the years, leading him to commit this bizarre and destructive act. Number 6. The Cursed Island of Povelia Venice is perhaps the most romantic city in the world but few know about the terrifying haunted island of Povelia in its surrounding lagoon. Despite being inhabited for hundreds of years, Povelia has been at the heart of some of the most heart-wrenching and twisted events in human history. In 1793, two ships carrying the bubonic plague arrived on its shores, which led Venetian authorities to quarantine the entire island. The bubonic plague, better known as the Black Plague, is one of the most lethal diseases to affect the human race. The quarantining of Povelia happened decades before the invention of antibiotics, so anyone that was infected faced days of agony followed by certain death. 
people suffering from plague were shipped to Povelia for decades, where they endured an unimaginable torture with no one to help them. Their bodies littered the island, creating a putrid wasteland that kept even the bravest of visitors from getting anywhere close. In the best of cases, the corpses were simply dumped into pits, where their diseased body and flesh seeped into the soil. This was just the start of Povelia's sordid history. In 1922, it became an even greater place of suffering when its abandoned buildings were turned into mental asylums. Bear in mind, psychiatric medicine in those days consisted of electroshock therapy, lobotomies, and several other procedures that would seem like little more than torture to modern people. So-called doctors conducted the most unspeakable experiments on patients. People with mental illnesses were usually restrained while doctors performed these experiments and their screams of pain likely fell on deaf ears. Based on what we know about early psychiatric treatments, the patients admitted at Povelia's asylums endured brief, miserable lives before dying from the abuse. Many locals believe Povelia to be cursed. According to local legends, the screams of the dead can still be heard echoing across its shores, and some call it the most haunted place on earth. Despite the Italian government's attempts to revitalize it, the island remains completely empty to this day, and it's still illegal to step foot on it. Would you ever dare to visit Povelia? Let us know in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 5. The Hostile Natives of North Sentinel Island in the Bay of Bengal lies an island populated by perhaps the most violent native tribe the world has ever seen. The Sentinelese, named for their territory North Sentinel Island, are completely cut off from modern-day society. There's no telling how long they've been there, but given our current understanding of human migration patterns, it's possible that they have violently protected the island for tens of thousands of years. They have refused any attempt at civilized contact, going so far as to shoot arrows at boats that try to approach the surrounding waters. Helicopters passing overhead have faced the same level of hostility, and even though their rudimentary bows and arrows could not cause any damage, this only confirms that the Sentinelese are fearless and viciously territorial. Of course, this has not stopped misguided people from trying to make contact. In 2018, John Chow, a 26-year-old missionary, decided to head to the North Sentinel Island to preach the gospel. He must have thought spreading his religion was a worthy pursuit, even calling North Sentinel Island Satan's last stronghold on earth. According to his journal entries, he was ready to die for the cause. On November 15, 2018, Chow offered two fishermen approximately $335 to take him to the island. They refused to take him all the way, so he traveled to the shore on a canoe by himself. Chow had to turn back when the islanders tried to attack him, but he continued to make attempts to reach them. On his second try, a boy reportedly fired an arrow through his Bible, prompting him to make an exit. Despite all the aggression, Chow was determined to convert the Sentinelese to Christianity. He made his last trip to the island on November 17th, telling the fishermen to just leave him there. He knew he was never coming back. Chow was killed that day. The fishermen, unable to tear their eyes away from the gruesome scene, were helpless as they watched the Sentinelese slaughter him and drag his body away. The next day, his ravaged corpse was spotted on the beach, where it rotted away and became part of the island that killed him. Number 4. Poison in the Air at Miyakijima about 110 miles southeast of Tokyo lies the island of Miyakijima, where simply breathing the air is enough to kill you. Situated in the Izu Archipelago, this beautiful yet deadly island in the Philippine Sea is home to Mount Oyama, one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Rising nearly 2,500 feet into the sky, this towering natural formation has erupted at least 13 times in the last 890 years. The flow of red-hot magma from deep within the Earth's crust is enough to render the island uninhabitable, with an eruption in 1940 leaving 11 people burnt to a crisp. Despite this, several determined natives continue to try to survive on the island, but everything changed at the turn of the millennium. In the year 2000, a series of apocalyptic eruptions occurred between July and September, spewing toxic sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. 
This forced Japanese authorities to completely evacuate the island, and it remained abandoned for the next four years. Though some residents were allowed to return on February 1, 2005, they were legally required to wear gas masks, otherwise the high concentration of sulfur dioxide would scorch their lungs. Over the next few years, natural winds cleared much of the poison from the atmosphere, and the residents are no longer required to wear gas masks. However, there are still frequent flare-ups in sulfur dioxide levels. Residents are always on high alert, with local authorities setting off deafening alarms whenever the dreaded death chemicals start to seep back into the air. While the technology used to predict volcanic activity has improved significantly over the years, there is always the danger of an unexpected eruption laying waste to the land. The inhabitants of Miyakijima live in constant fear of hellfire raining down on them without warning. Number 3. Snake Island Ila da Maquira Grande, located just off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, is known for one thing being overrun by the deadliest snakes in the world. More commonly known as Snake Island, this mostly rocky landmass is the sole natural habitat of the Golden Lancehead Pit Viper. The lack of natural predators, coupled with a plentiful supply of birds to feast on, allowed their population to explode. Nowadays, you can't step foot on the island without a dozen of these snakes immediately leaping out of the sand to attack you. Some have estimated that the island is home to anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 snakes, whereas others suggest that it may have one snake per 10 square feet. That's like having 100 snakes in an average two-bedroom apartment. A single drop of its venom is enough to clot your blood, and if one were to bite you, it won't be long before the surrounding flesh rots away right in front of your eyes. Now, this species is also critically endangered, which means that wiping them out could cause unpredictable ecological disasters. Despite the presence of terrifying snakes at every turn, Snake Island is an important location for Sao Paulo. It's home to a critical lighthouse that guided ships to port, but the keepers of the lighthouse faced a constant battle with the killer serpents. Legend has it that the last of Snake Island's lighthouse keepers suffered a grisly fate when a single snake entered his home and killed his entire family. Some say he survived, others say he died, but the horrors he faced meant that no other human being stepped foot on Snake Island ever again. Number 2. Bikini Atoll, the once pristine nuclear wasteland. Bikini Atoll may seem like heaven on earth, but in the 1940s, it became the testing ground for the most destructive weapon humanity has ever invented, the nuclear bomb. Nestled in the Marshall Islands, Bikini Atoll was the site of 23 nuclear explosions between 1946 and 1958. As the Cold War ramped up, the United States began testing even more devastating additions to their nuclear arsenal. Experts estimate that this created 7,000 times as much radiation as the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. What's even more tragic is that the island was home to 167 people, all of whom were forcibly removed by the US government to clear the way for their weapons tests. By 1970, the US government claimed that radiation levels had fallen to safer levels and they allowed 200 people to return. However, scientific analysis revealed that all the drinking water on the island was tainted by the highly radioactive compound strontium-90. Simply quenching your thirst on Bikini Atoll can lead to cancer and birth defects and literally turn your bones radioactive, which can cause further destruction. The inhabitants of the island received no warning of the dangers they faced. When the truth was discovered, the recent returnees underwent medical testing this revealed lethal levels of cesium-137 in their bodies, a radioactive compound so deadly that it can melt your organs from the inside. As of 2023, no one lives on Bikini Atoll. With radiation in the water, the trees and practically anything you could eat, the island is simply no longer fit for human visitors, let alone residents. Number 1. Killer Crocs on Ramri Island on Ramri Island near Myanmar, the crocodile-infested mangrove swamps became the final resting place of hundreds of Japanese soldiers. 
As the Second World War drew to a close, British troops on the Eastern Front invaded Ramri Island and attempted to eliminate the last remnants of the Japanese army. A bloody battle ensued, and nearly a thousand Japanese soldiers were forced to retreat into the swamps. Little did they know, these swamps were infested with massive saltwater crocodiles, whose powerful jaws could crush a human with a single bite. Bear in mind, these are not humble river crocodiles. They can reach up to 23 feet in length and weigh upward of 2,000 pounds. Fleeing Japanese soldiers must have hoped that their retreat would give them a chance to regroup, but the terrifying predators ripped them apart as soon as they entered the swamp. Based on some historical accounts, just 20 of the 1,000 retreating soldiers made it out of the marshes alive. Others estimate that at least 400 soldiers were torn to shreds. The survivors reported that an entire legion of killer crocs launched an attack against them, almost like an organized military force. Not only is this the single worst crocodile attack in history, but it's also the deadliest animal attack of all time. Tens of thousands of people still live on Ramri Island, but they give the mangrove swamps a wide berth. The marshes belong to the crocodiles, and they have clearly shown that they will systematically and brutally annihilate any humans that enter their territory. Which of these deadly islands shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bad Badger.